Okay, question four. Um, a point. Let's start this one off. It says an object of weight 7.5 hangs on the end of a cord. The diagram's actually in the book, so. But I'm going to, oops, draw a very mm, poor diagram. But <laughs> schematic diagram is what I'm going to go for. Both of those angles are 12 degrees. The weight hangs equally in the middle of the cord. This is where my diagram is not so good. But if you can forgive me, that would be great. So the weight is 7.5 newtons hanging down. And in each side, because it is symmetrical, there is an equal tension on both sides. The question asks, it says, calculate the tension in each half of the wire. Well, each of these tensions are made up of two components. Their horizontal component, if I just look at the left hand side at the moment, this tension here, and the vertical component. will be the same for this side. As I say, not a great diagram. And then we could say it has the same line going up here. So if we resolve all the forces, right, all of the forces into the vertical plane, we just need this component of this tension and this component of this tension. Well you can see here that I have an angle here of 12. This side is opposite the angle. So to work out the magnitude of that component we would need the hypotenuse, so T, multiplied by the sine of 12 t sine 12, that would be the value of the vertical component of that tension. And similarly, it would be the value of the vertical component of that tension as well. So these two vertical components are balancing this downward one, so we would end up with 7.5, the downward force, is balanced in equilibrium with t sine 12 of this side plus t sine 12 of this side. We can add these two together so and say that 2 t sine of 12 is equal to 7.5. We rearrange this equation to make t the subject of the equation. We end up with 7.5 divided by 2 sine 12. If you put your numbers into your trusty calculator, you're going to come up with a value 18.0 newtons.